Has dollar's domination on the global market finally come to an end? What happens to the United States economy now? Can BRICS adopt Bitcoin as a payment method for cross-border transactions? Is the United States currently shitting BRICS because of what's going on? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. First thing is first, if you are new here, make sure you go down and you hit the subscribe button, like this video and comment because you're going to find this video very valuable. We are like a couple subscribers away from a thousand subscribers and then we are headed to a million subscribers and once we hit the million subscribers we're gonna be beating the shit out of every youtuber possible in the boxing ring and the bare knuckle whatever you guys want to call it we also have some cool merch coming and this journey is gonna be very long and nice so make sure you subscribe and you are part of this whole thing nevertheless let's get to the topic of this video bricks bricks Bricks. What is Bricks and why do you keep hearing it about it all over the social media? Well, actually, mostly all over TikTok. First of all, if you were getting your news about the global economy from TikTok, I would stop everything you're doing right now, get in your car, go to the hospital and go see a doctor. Because if you're getting the news from TikTok about the global economy from some kid named Timmy and his mom's basement who doesn't understand how the world politics work, then you should definitely see a doctor. I'm seeing all these kids post on TikTok that one brick is gonna cost 55 US dollars, which is gonna cause hyperinflation in United States economy. First of all, the BRICS currency has not even been yet established. I'm not going to lie to you guys, after you watch this video, you will have a better understanding on BRICS, but I will tell you that BRICS is still in early development. It can cause some serious issues for dollars domination on the global market. But you also have to understand that things like this don't happen overnight. Dollar accounts for 90% of currency trading, for 74% of international trading, and 100% of oil trades. To substitute that overnight is just simply impossible. So please stop freaking out. That's in the first, but let's dive into what BRICS actually is. BRICS is a group of world economies between Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. It was created by my homeland, which is Russia. Why was BRICS created in the first place? BRICS was created to gain independence from the domination of the dollar on the global market. And what these countries are basically saying, why should we rely on dollar and the global trading when we can create our own payment system and our own currency to do cross-border trading? Between those five countries, they make up 40% of the human population, just so you understand, and they make up two out of three the most powerful countries in the world which is china and russia and they have 23 countries that are trying to get into the BRICS. and i'm sure more countries are willing to stop depending on the dollar because of all the sanctions that united states is proposing against all these countries and not depend on the dollar for global trading anymore just for you to understand how big BRICS is they have suppressed g7's gdp over the last two years that is huge and once they have other people joining them like Saudi Arabia, it will be humongous. What happens to the US dollar if this whole thing goes in play? Well, now let's take a look at it like this. Say there's no demand for a dollar anymore. What happens now? The dollar is just not needed and it's only active in the United States which is not good at all because now it has no value. But you have to understand that the dollar system, the domination of the dollar has been forever on the global market and to change that it's not gonna happen overnight. It's going to be a very long process. It is definitely very possible if more countries are starting to join in on the BRICS and start to move forward with this whole thing. BRICS are offering to different countries economic cooperation and increase in multilateral trade, which sounds very attractive because the United States is putting out sanctions on all these countries and BRICS are inviting them for corporation and now if we're being honest if this keeps going like this and BRICS actually starts to develop and they create their own currency and they start to take off we can very well see the destruction of the US dollar on the global market it is a very big possibility with the future years that the United States financial system is not gonna be dominating the world order anymore we are currently witnessing the destruction of the US domination and the global market and it's just crazy to see because very soon within years and years of development and establishment I believe that BRICS can overtake this financial system and the cross-border trading is gonna be completely different and the transactions 
are going to be more efficient with the new BRICS system. But what is going to happen with the US dollar? Nobody can say right now because it is still in play and it will be in play for a while until things actually start to get developed a little more. And it's only a matter of time where the financial reform order will be in play. And there's nothing that we can do but wait and see what's going to happen next. Let's actually see what Wall Street Journal had to say about the BRICS situation. Here's the G7. A group of seven of the world's advanced economies, including the US, UK, and Japan. And here's what some call the alternative from the developing world, the BRICS, formed by Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. The BRICS is trying to position itself as the voice for emerging economies and challenge Western dominance of global affairs. Its leaders are holding a summit in Johannesburg to discuss an historic expansion. More than 40 countries, including Saudi Arabia and Iran, want to join. The expansion of BRICS could definitely boost the group's global influence. Let's look at what a potential enlargement means for the alliance and its ambitions to shake up the global political and economic order. The original term BRIC was actually coined by a Goldman Sachs banker, grouping these really different countries together because they were so fast growing. The leaders of Brazil, Russia, India and China formalised their relationship in 2009 and invited South Africa to join the alliance a year later. They decided to take that idea in an effort to create a bit of a political and economic counterpoint to what's perceived as the Western hegemony of the global political and economic spheres. The BRICS countries together make up more than 40% of the world's population and almost a third of the world's GDP. According to data from the International Monetary Fund, the bloc has already overtaken the G7 nation's share of the global economy on the basis of purchasing power parity. That's when the purchasing power of different currencies is equalized. Projections by Goldman Sachs show the world's economic balance shifting towards the BRICS and emerging economies. China is expected to overtake the US as the world's largest economy by 2050, with India climbing to number three. China and India have experienced massive growth since the BRICS were founded in 2009 and certainly have helped them swell in importance and remain relevant on the global stage. China and Russia are pushing to enlarge BRICS. Experts say Beijing is keen to create an alternative grouping to counter the US and the West on the world stage. China has been bullish on expanding BRICS for some time and they're particularly keen at the moment because of the trade tensions with the US, the US looking to diversify its supply chains away from China. Russia sees an expansion as a way to gain more international allies following its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. South Africa publicly supports the expansion, as does Brazil. But experts say behind the scenes, Brazil and India want a more measured approach. It seems that they are concerned about the group leaning too autocratic. So they want to have very specific requirements for admission to make sure that there's a balance amongst the members. And then... Again, as I said, guys, the admissions have not even been developed for the BRICS. So countries that want to apply, the whole process is not even yet been established. So. We can only witness and wait. Again, it's only a matter of time to see where this takes us. And that it doesn't become sort of the autocratic G7. More than 20 countries have formally applied to become part of BRICS, ranging from Saudi Arabia to Ethiopia, Argentina and Indonesia. Experts say Saudi Arabia is a strong candidate as a major economic and energy power in the Middle East with a growing role in regional diplomacy. Indonesia, Guys, if Saudi Arabia joins BRICS, it is over. Contender. Indonesia it is, is such a dumb. large economy and important in the electrification, clean energy tech, electric vehicles might be a logical choice. One reason for joining the BRICS is gaining access to the bloc's new development bank. Since its founding in 2014, the bank has approved more than $30 billion in loans for development and infrastructure projects. 
access to funding from this bank, which seemed to be having more favorable terms than a traditional development bank like the World Bank or the IMF is definitely something that's attractive to a lot of countries. The new development bank also wants to deepen the use of local currencies instead of the US dollar for trade and financing between the BRICS nations. Anyway, guys, you just heard it yourself that people are getting, well, not people, the world economies are ganging up on the United States. It's basically like, hey, we're going to jump your ass and there's nothing that you can do about it. The craziest thing to witness is that I have not yet seen the president of the United States speak out on this whole situation. But again, guys, it's going to take some time to knock out the dollar out of all those reserves and change the whole way. It seems like they're building a new financial system between those economies. That's pretty crazy to me. I feel like they're going to substitute it with a cryptocurrency as well. And I feel like the blockchains are gonna be playing a very huge role in that whole system. Again, if you liked this video and you enjoyed the content, I know you did, it was very valuable so that you don't get freaked out. Subscribe to this channel, like this video and comment, and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.